everybody and welcome back to the Blue Snot channel. Today I am back with another Sports Hub series episode. It's episode number 140 and today I'm about to head to San Francisco as I'm there to watch another college soccer game between San Francisco Dons versus Pacific Tiger. Now, it's safe to say that both of these teams are definitely want their season to be over with because both of these teams have not been having a great season. San Francisco Dons are coming into this game with a record of only two wins one draw and 12 losses and they're 0-5 in their conference play while Pacific Tiger currently have an overall record of 5 win, 1 draw and 9 losses and are 2-3 and three in conference play. But despite the fact that both of these teams are not having a great season, let's hope we're going to still have a very good game tonight. Let's go soccer! And right here behind the fence, not quite sure you guys can see it, but that is where the stadium is. Um, I think I'm going to have to go around this fence to see where exactly the entrance of the stadium will be. So here's the tickets for tonight's match. As I am now inside the stadium, and as you can see, both teams are doing their pregame warm-up. I believe these are the San Francisco Dons player doing their pregame warm-up. And over there on the far side are the Pacific Tiger player doing their pregame warm-up. And as you can also see, it is very foggy right now which is pretty typical San Francisco weather especially in November and now it looks like both team is heading to the center circle just about to get ready for the start of this match on a foggy late afternoon here in San Francisco Now they're going to try to drive in the box and that one is going to be wide there as well that defender I think he did not do a good job in terms of trying to clear that one. Oh, that's a nice little move there to get by that defender. He does it even a nicer move there as he plays this one back into the middle and it is going to be wide there and I think it's going to be a corner coming up. Wow I think this is probably the thickest we have seen the fog covering on the pitch because you can't even see the corner flag there on the other side. I wonder if the referee's gonna have to kind of monitor these condition and we'll see maybe he might stop the play if the fog gets too thick here. Tigers are starting to kind of come back into this game and what a ball this is. Big chance for Tiger for the opening goal, but it's going to be saved by the keeper there as well. That is probably the best chance there for the visitor. Now he's going to play here on the left side. Cross comes in and that one is going to be behind for a goal kick as that Tigers player trying to stretch with his full might to maybe get a piece and knock it into the back of the net for the opening goal. Here's a free kick for the Tigers and this one is about 35 yards or out and it's going to be interesting to see how they're going to try to maybe strike this one. This comes the free kick. He's going to go for goal here and it's just a little bit high there and well that definitely didn't miss by much but which I just couldn't quite get that ball dipped down enough. Should be the last play of the first half here. And it is gonna be the halftime whistle. Halftime here in a foggy and cold night in San Francisco. It is scoreless between San Francisco Dons and Pacific Tigers. So it's halftime here in San Francisco. As you can see, some of the players are now walking back into the dressing room for their halftime talk. But halftime here in a foggy and cold evening in San Francisco. It is scoreless between the Dons and the Tigers. And, you know, the fog actually kind of level off a little bit between the 30th and 40th minute and you can actually kind of see a little bit better off the background but it seemed like it's kind of now back to being pretty fake and there was even one point of the game where the fog was so fake that you can even see the other side of the pitch and that you can't even see the corner flag on the other side of the pitch but you know in terms of this first half you know, it's been kind of an even game between both of these teams. The Dons had a couple of early chances to potentially get the opening goal, but they weren't able to do that. And the Tigers kind of started to come back into the game and started creating a couple of chances of their own, but they couldn't 
able to put one away. So yeah, let's see how this second half is going to be. And now it looks like the Dons player is walking out of the alleyway and heading back onto the pitch. Just about to get ready for the start of the second half on a cold and foggy night here in San Francisco. Well, here comes the Tigers and the flag is going to be up and well you missed it either way but even if he would have put that one in, it would have not counted because the linesman already raised his flag here on the right side. Now it's that time of the part of the game where once again the fog is so thick that you can't even see the dugout there on that far side. You definitely cannot see the corner flag right next to the scoreboard there. Now he's going to try to whip this one in into the back post here and that one is going to be saved and it is in! The back of the net, or is it? Yes, it is, as the Dons is able to take a one nothing lead here. And like I said earlier, since this there is a lot of fog here, I can barely tell that the ball actually nestle into the back of the net, but the Dons have found the breakthrough here. And they are on verge of potentially getting their first ever conference play win here. Pacific immediately looking to try to get the equalizer here. It's gonna go for goal here on the back foot, but it's gonna be wide there as it's gonna be a goal kick coming up here for the Dons. And now, ooh, referee, well that is gonna be a foul here and now the players are getting around each other here as I think that has to be a yellow card and I'm not quite sure you guys saw it but looks like the referee did hand out a yellow card. He's gonna try to cross this one here and it is gonna be clear the way there by that Don's player and I'm not quite sure did that Tiger player trying to maybe flick it back in there or was that Don's player that able to just get ahead or to that one to put it back into the middle players gonna deliver this one right into the fog corner comes in and that is gonna be over the bar and wow the goalkeeper missed the punch there but Unfortunately, that Pacific player just could not quite hit that one into the back of the net despite the keeper couldn't quite get there. The other thing I also realized is I'm kind of surprised they decided not to have an orange ball for this match because, you know, with the way how foggy it is and the fact that, you know, it's just so hard to see the ball, I would think that in these conditions, you would think they would think about putting an orange ball in this game you know when you have this kind of fog like we have tonight as the ball comes in and it's going to be headed away and is that going to be a foul yes it is it is going to be a free kick for pacific and this is in a very good position just outside the 18 yard box well here comes the free kick and it's in the back of the net there and Pacific has got the equalizer. Oh, is that going to be a foul? Referee says no. And here comes the Tiger as the ball plays here on the left side. Can that player able to get there? He does, but that one is going to be blocked away there for another corner. 90 seconds left into this game and 90 seconds away from going to a sudden death extra time. And well, now we got a free kick here and well Don's player is absolutely fuming about that call but it's gonna be a free kick here right on that left side about 30 yards out here's an ensuing free kick here as we're down to the last minute of this game and the goalkeeper is going to gather this ensuing free kick the countdown is now on here all launch into the air and that is going to be the end of regular time and we are going to a sudden death extra time as it is tie 1-1 right now between the Tigers of Pacific 
and San Francisco dons. So that's the end of regular time, and at the end of the regular time, it is tied at one apiece, which means that we are going to a sudden death extra time. And just a little bit explanation in terms of how this sudden death extra time in college soccer works. Basically, we're gonna have two 10-minute period, and the first team that scores the goal will win this game. And after, if this game remains tied after the two 10-minute extra time period, this game will end in a draw. Oh, but he's able to flick to it, and here comes the Tigers, and what a challenge that is by that Don's player, and despite a lot of shout for a foul, that definitely looked like it was a clean challenge. 35 seconds left in this first half of extra time. That player looking for some space to shoot here. And that one is gonna be in the back of the net. And the Tigers have got that goal. Well, they are now gonna be celebrating right in front of the away fans as the Tigers have got that golden goal in extra time with just 26 seconds left in the first half of extra time. And the fans, of course, for the Tigers are going absolutely nuts as they knock off the Dons here in extra time. So just finished here in San Francisco as in the end it was Pacific Tiger with a come from behind victory as they were able to win 2-1 after extra time and score that golden goal with just 26 seconds left in the first half of extra time and I'll tell you what when the Tigers got that equalizer late in the game not only the Dons fan was very disheartening because they just saw their team gave up a late goal but I was also very disheartening too because now I know for a fact that most likely we are going to go to extra time and it was just freezing cold and also very foggy for me to actually see the pitch. But thankfully, the Tigers did get that goal and that I didn't have to sit through 20 minutes of this extra time like the last two times when I went to a college soccer game and saw a game go to extra time that actually went to the full distance and end up with both teams drawing their game. But yeah, either way, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like, smash the subscribe button, and yeah, I, of course, will see you guys next time. I'm actually going to get out of the stadium now because it is just freezing cold right now.